What are the actionable items within epigenetics and RNA? Dr. Jeffrey Bland broke it down on the Functional Forum. So uh, this other book by Nessa Carey, The Epigenetics Rev uh, Revolution, talks about how genetic expression is controlled by the epigenome and how small RNAs play a role in masking and, and opening up certain portions of the genome. So if you look at the full genome and you ask, well, how does the, uh, in, a, in, a, in a chart, how do you divide up the coding versus the non-coding region? So that little blue slice up there, that's the percentage of coding region, right? And then that uh, kind of purple, that's the so-called introns, that those were the spacers that are the regulatory regions like the transcription factors and, and the promoter regions of genes. And then you get to the unique non-coding RNAs or, uh, that then regulate the structure of the genome and the, and the uh, nucleosome, which are, are playing very important roles in how we express messages. So what are the actionable opportunities within the functional medicine model for all this information. This sounds pretty esoteric at this point, so what do we do with it? Let's start with telomeres, right? Can we influence in telomeres, which are the ends of the chromosomes, these repeating units the, uh, that then are shortened with age in all animals with replication? Remember Leonard Hayflick in the 50 uh, cell doublings, and you get to a certain doubling number, and then the cells expire, expire because you've shortened the telomere so much that your genomic stability is lost, and those genes now open up to all sorts of damage in the universe. So entropy wins in the end. That's called aging. So can you, uh, can you influence, then, uh, the telomere? And the answer is yes, you can, because we know that healthy lifestyle now, but now we have with Elizabeth Blackburn's Nobel Prize winning work, we have the ability to measure and, uh, the, uh, the, amount of, the length of telomeres and the telomerase enzyme. So people can say, wow, you mean if you really just do the right things uh, for, that speaks to, with harmony to your genes, is you can actually preserve the integrity of the, of the protective ends of your chromosomes, which is akin to reducing biological aging? Yes, you can. That's, that's an actionable thing. You can measure telomeres and you can do something and then you can measure them again, right? So this makes this science a little bit more uh, quantifiable. Thanks so much for watching and for more great clips like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. I've created a special free video just for you. It's called the five steps to becoming a leader in your wellness community and it'll give you some of the starting points on how to position yourself as the leader in your zip code of your health community. All you have to do is click on the link below.